Takeo Takagi on the screen. Kondo as one inspiration, Swirsky as the other. This video will be about the Amagi. And in the third mod selection, we've selected Concealment, which brings our detectability down to 12.2. Hello, I am Zarkoon. This is World of Warships Legends. Today on Crash Zone in a Domination Match, we will see the super stealthy Amagi in action. Of course, for this April 2021 update to World of Warships Legends, a handful of battleships gained access to that concealment mod in the fourth slot. Thus far, I have covered two since that update, the Vanguard and the Yamato, and now we see the Amagi in action. And I think the Amagi might be, out of all three of those, the Vanguard, Yamato, and Amagi, I think the Amagi might be the one that can achieve the lowest concealment value, provided you combine the concealment mod with a high-level Kondo and Swirsky inspiration. Although, maybe the Vanguard can get stealthier. I'm not sure. Haven't looked at it with both Kondo and Swirsky as inspirations for my Vanguard commander, because... I don't want to give up Kedrov is the bottom line on that build. In any case, we're running a full concealment build on this Amagi. We are spotted so we know there is a destroyer nearby within 12.2 kilometers of us. Nice to know. We know that we probably need to change course pretty radically. Doing so is going to mean giving broadside to an Iowa who at the time we started the turn, was not focused on us. This is a bit of a dangerous turn, but frankly, we're already recognizing that we can't push out here. Destroyer, too many ships coming this way. We don't want to overextend, particularly since it looks like our teammates have no intention of pushing up with us. Unfortunately, our first shot on the Miyoko did not yield the kind of results we were looking for, so will the second one do the trick? Looks like it might be on target. My teammates are spamming me to get back. Correct, but perhaps you guys might consider pushing up just a little bit to start dealing damage to these ships, especially this Fletcher, who inexplicably has just emerged from his smokescreen and allowed himself to be spotted. So I'm turning to get all my turrets on target at the Fletcher, release the salvo, hit him for 6k, immediately start turning in the other direction, assuming that the Fletcher has launched torpedoes at me. They would have been launched on the course that I was just sailing. So if I turn and start sailing on the opposite course, there should be no danger whatsoever that these torpedoes that I am sure that Fletcher launched will come anywhere near me. And as the Fletcher drops spot, he decides to open up with his guns and get spotted again, giving us the opportunity to score our first kill of the match and obtain the first blood medal. Bit of an inexplicable performance from that Fletcher. Not sure what his plan was, but it worked out well for me. Now, if we just maintain silence on the guns, the detectability will fall back down to 12.2. The Iowa and the Miyoko can't see us anymore, and as far as we can tell, there is no destroyer in the area. There is one enemy destroyer left in the game, but he was last spotted on the Charlie Cap to the west, far too far away from us to reveal our position. And finally, we get the shot we were looking for on the Miyoko with two citadels, nearly take him out there, and we bring our damage total up to 41,000 from the relatively low, I think it was 13k from the hit points that we shaved off of that Fletcher. Trying to finish the job now with this salvo as the Miyoko disengages and goes dark. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to hit him really, but now we're pushing back in. Our teammates still remain in the same position, but we do have some blue ships over there on Charlie trying to flip that cap for us. We're going to need to clean up this side of the map. Got an Edinburgh out there sailing broadside. Line up the shot and release the salvo. Unfortunately, I think doing so, we underestimated his speed by quite a bit because the salvo falls 
extremely short, honestly, which surprised me a little bit. So now we can just sit here as the guns reload. By the time they get reloaded, we should be unspotted, yes. The firing penalty for firing your main battery guns on a battleship, I think, consists of 20 seconds. And most battleship reload time is longer than 20 seconds. I think the Amagi's reload time on this build is something like 27. So you can fire a salvo if you're not within 12.2 kilometers of an enemy ship just before your guns get reloaded you get undetected again it's really great this concealment mod and this stealth build this really allows you to push in there do things that you probably couldn't do before take risks that you might not have considered taking in the past and it has the potential i think to change the meta a little bit we see a lot of battleships sitting in the back line trying to snipe across the map, and that is fine for some battleships like, say, the Yamato, and even the Amagi to some extent, but you're always going to be more effective the closer you are to the targets. There's a better chance that more of your shells are going to hit and take out Miyoko's like that one. Duke of York is firing high explosive at us, which is a little bit of a problem. The Amagi doesn't stand up particularly well to high explosive, particularly if the shells are coming from battleship caliber guns. So we would like to take that Duke of York out. He's not making it too terribly difficult for us, and we do hit him for 11k. But we have no way to go unspotted and disengage here. That Iowa is closing the distance he's now within five kilometers of us not something we're a fan of we're going to now have to reverse which is something i hate having to do in ships like the amagi and the vanguard with all of their turrets concentrated down the center line i don't think you ever want to be in a position where you've pushed up this far and are forced to reverse you always want to be going forward even if you're going backwards that is kiting away that's the ideal way, in my view, to play this ship. Unfortunately, stuff like this sometimes happens. We're on fire twice now. The Iowa is not aiming at us, evidently aware that he's probably not going to be able to do too much to us if we're bow on to him like that. By the same token, we aren't really able to do much to him either, so we fire off the three rear turrets at that Duke of York out there, who is still giving us broadside we end up hitting him for 10k again looks like the Iowa is going to go down We're trying to see if we could find an opportunity to secure the kill but alas we could not Edinburgh out there giving flat broadside fire off the front two guns at him continue on the Duke of York who I consider to pretty much be the biggest threat to me at this time he does have my broadside he has been shooting high explosive this whole time but there's nothing to stop him from switching to the armor piercing and potentially giving me a paddling that I probably would deserve for my mispositioning in this game. However, that Edinburgh is now smoked up. The Duke of York is well outside of our detection range. And so, since the Edinburgh is hidden behind smoke and doesn't actually have a line of sight on us, we are able to go dark. And this gives us leeway to reposition. We're thinking that at some point soon, we might be seeing more of that Edinburgh, and we want to turn away from that Duke of York so that we don't find ourselves in another situation where we have to reverse away from danger. Definitely not something I think you want to do in the Amagi. Just thought I would state that for clarity's sake, in case, you know, you didn't get it the first time. Edinburgh is shooting out of that smoke screen at the friendly battleship approaching him. Duke of York is coming out from behind that island, but we do lose sight of him momentarily. Just sort of pushing up here. We intend to turn left between these two islands, giving broadside to the Duke of York again. We fire at him. His guns are not aimed at us, but at our teammates. And we are able to get a decent hit on him for... 9,000 of his hit points. He fires back at us with HE once more, does a fair amount of damage, and starts a fire. 
which we do immediately damage con, which is potentially a risk, but, you know, I felt like I had 16,000 hit points and no heals left. I did not want to let that fire burn, especially since I thought I might be able to take out that Duke of York with the next salvo, but alas, no. Both the Duke of York and the King George V have, I think, submerged citadels that are pretty difficult to hit with other battleships. You can absolutely penetrate the side armor with your armor piercing, but, you know, citadel not always easy to find. Edinburgh, on the other hand, you shoot at those and they pop. High caliber metal. Third kill of the game, the Edinburgh goes down to two citadels in a devastating strike. And somewhere in the interim, the Duke of York went down as well, leaving only the enemy Massachusetts and an enemy destroyer left alive on this team. We racked up 132,000 damage with three kills, the high caliber medal, first blood medal, and a devastating strike. And I think in this game, we also demonstrated some instances of the super stealth of the Imagi in action. I think this is fantastic. I don't know that I necessarily recommend using both of your inspirations on your Amagi battleship commander for concealment, namely with Kondo and Swirsky, but definitely I would recommend putting the concealment mod on this ship as well, and probably using Kondo as an inspiration. The other one is your choice. If you want to go as far out as I have, with the concealment and pop Swirsky on there, provided you have Swirsky, then go right ahead, play around with it, see if you like it. I think I do, and I might stick to this build for a while on both the Amagi and the Yamato. Does seem to be working out well for me. Let me know what you think of the build in the comments below. Also, if you do want to get Swirsky, you can, I think, still buy the Orkin. He comes with that ship, but Anyway, that is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.